We now welcome you to the Gateway Community Outreach Academy's Student Podcast. Hello, and welcome to the November 2018 edition of Student Talk Radio, featuring students and staff from COA Elementary School. I'm Mr. Strau. Today I have seven students and two staff members ready to share information with you about school life right here at COA. We start with the current month's character education trait that we learn from our character education leader, Mr. Tony. Here's fifth grade student leader, Nadia, to tell you all about it. Hi, this is Nadia from the COA student leadership team to remind you about this month's character trait of determination. Determination means you don't let any obstacles get in the way of you accomplishing your goals and your dreams. You never give up, never surrender. Nothing is impossible if you set your mind to it and are determined to achieve it. Sometimes the impossible can become possible if you're awesome! Show your eagle pride and show your teachers you know all about determination. Just like our hero of the month, civil rights activist Rosa Parks. She was determined to make sure the right thing was always done in the fight for civil rights. She knew it wouldn't be easy and there would be a lot of obstacles in the way, but she was determined to overcome the prejudices and earn quality for everyone. Her work throughout the years helped earn people of all races equal rights. So show your teachers you know all about determination and how it fits into our school Esslers and maybe you will be chosen as the next character award winner. Thanks, Nadia. As Mr. Tony always tells us at our assemblies. Just remember, your attitude determines your altitude. Every week we talk about our school's expected school-wide learning results or Esslers in the morning message and also at each of our character education assemblies. Here's second grader Jonathan to tell you all about them. Hi, I am Jonathan from Mrs. Tringali's class to tell you all about the school Esslers at COA. The C stands for creating a cooperative and cooperative community. The O stands for being an outstander learner and citizen. And the A stands for achieving academic excellence. Thanks, Jonathan. Our character education leader, Mr. Tony, and I talk more about these every month this school year in our character education assemblies. And throughout the month, the student that shows their teacher that they know all about that trait and how it fits into our school Esslers can win a character education award from their teacher. And as Mr. Tony always says, You can. You will. Succeed. Next up is fifth grade student leader Alice to talk about spirit days right here at COA. Hello, this is Alice from COA Student Leadership Team. Today I'd like to talk about all of the fun school spirit days we have here at COA. Once a month we get to participate in a fun school spirit day. For example, back in August it was Wear School Color Day where we dressed up in blue and white. In September it was Sports Day, a day we got to wear our favorite sports outfit. This month was Twin Day where we picked friends in our class and dressed alike, like twins. We have many more coming up each month this school year. Here's what I think is fun about school spirit days. Spirit days are very fun. This month was the third spirit day twin day. Later in the year will be more exciting and fun spirit days. Also, spirit day can be fun and funny. Your friends might be happy and you also might be happy. Each month we have a fantastic spirit day, so keep a lookout for our posters all around the school. This is Alice from COA Student Leadership Team. Thanks for listening and showing your COA school spirit. Thanks, Alice. They sure are fun. In fact, our next spirit day is on Friday, December 21st. It's Holiday Dress-Up Day, where we encourage all of our students and staff to dress in their favorite holiday outfit. Santa hats, elf shoes, sweaters with Christmas trees. Whatever your favorite holiday outfit is, wear it on School Spirit Day. We even have a special guest that visits our school that day. Should be a lot of fun. Next, we have 6th grade student leader Daniel to tell you about what he thinks a perfect day is like. Daniel? Hello, this is Daniel from COA Elementary Student Leadership Team. Today, I'd like to talk about what makes a perfect day. In my opinion, a perfect day would be when you start your day with a smile. I am going to school in a good mood because it is nice to see my friends and the teachers every morning. Especially I am excited when I have soccer practice or games. 
I am very proud to be in the school soccer team. Also, I like to be in the student leadership. It is nice to have experience on a stage performance and give good advices to younger students at the assembly with the other students in my group in student leadership. Also, what would make me a good day is that my teacher would give me a science project presentation. It is very interesting to observe all the processes and work on something exciting. I love my COA school. This is Daniel from COA Student Leadership Team. Thanks for listening, and I hope you have a perfect day. Thanks, Daniel. That sure does sound like a perfect day. We also want to remind parents and students about our Math Whiz Trophy Contest, sponsored by Krispy Kreme Donuts in Roseville. Here's sixth grader Sasha to tell you more. Hi, this is Sasha to remind you about the second trimester Math Whiz Contest is underway. This is your second chance to win a Krispy Kreme donut party for your class at the end of the second trimester. There are now five brand new chances to win the MathWiz trophy this trimester. If your class is the class that uses MathWiz the most and has the most improvement points, you'll win the trophy for that round. And if your class is the one that wins the trophy more than any other class in your grade level, that's how you win the Krispy Kreme donut party. But remember, you only earn minutes and improvement points by using your math tutor lessons. The games don't count towards winning. And since this is the second trimester, there's a new challenge included to win the trophy. To win the trophy, your class has to have a minimum of 30 average usage minutes each week to be considered for winning the trophy. If there is not a minimum of 30 minutes, no trophy will be awarded. It's really easy to do. If everyone in your class just uses their math whiz for 10 minutes each school day, you'll meet and even exceed the minimum requirement. The trophies are available to win every two weeks. Good luck, everyone. Thanks, Sasha. Our math whiz program really helps our students with improving their skills in many different areas. All we ask is that they try to complete 15 to 20 minutes of math whiz every school day, either here at school or at home to help them improve their math skills. Our first trophies for the second trimester contest will be awarded on Friday, November 30th. Next up is fifth grader Giselle. She'd like to share with you what she likes best about the Thanksgiving break we just had. Hi, this is fifth grader Giselle from Mr. Ramirez's class. Welcome to COA Elementary Student Talk Radio. We are just returning from the Thanksgiving break. I hope your Thanksgiving was great. It's a great time for us students to relax and spend some time with our family. And of course, celebrate Thanksgiving. Today, I'd like to tell you what I like best about Thanksgiving break. Well, the first thing I love about Thanksgiving is the food. My grandma goes all out. She cooks a turkey and bakes two bowls of mashed potatoes. What I also love about Thanksgiving is that I get to see my cousins and family that I don't get to see a lot. This year, we might actually go to Texas for Thanksgiving to see my cousins, and her mom is a great cook. What I also love about Thanksgiving is that when we are done eating, my family puts all the little kids to sleep, and with the older kids and adults, we play some board games like Monopoly or a card game called Phase 10. This is 5th grader Giselle. Thanks for listening, and I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Thanks, Giselle. Sure sounds like you had a lot of fun over the break. Finally, I'd like to feature some of our teachers here at COA, who will share with you all the great things going on on a daily basis at COA. Let's start with second grade teacher Mrs. Kozlov as she talks about the second grade. We are a team of second grade teachers and we do whatever it takes for our second graders to be successful. Kids are our future. That is why we incorporate technology in our everyday lessons. For that reason, each student has an opportunity to enrich their learning by using Chromebooks. Another amazing aspect of students' daily routines are independent reading, small group collaborations, teamwork, and varieties of classroom activities. Second graders in COA use rigorous language arts curriculum and highly interactive, meaningful math curriculum, which meets common core state standards requirements. We provide support for our students that are struggling with reading. Those students receive daily support from our COA reading specialists. We pride ourselves in providing our students with exceptional after-school tutoring program. For an hour after school, students have an opportunity to be tutored by the credentialed teachers in a small group environment. All of that has been mentioned and more 
creates caring and nurturing environment for our second graders to thrive academically, emotionally, and physically. Thanks, Mrs. Kozlov. Next is reading intervention teacher Mrs. Moore to tell you about our intervention program here at COA. Whatever it takes, our students are worth it. The Community Outreach Academy reading intervention team consists of four highly qualified credentialed teachers who have a passion for teaching struggling readers. On a daily basis, we have the opportunity to work with the students throughout our K-6 school in small, intimate groups. These students are selected based on research-based assessments and classroom teacher input. In these groups, the students learn the foundations of reading. They learn to believe in themselves and their ability to succeed in a low-stress, multi-sensory, structured environment. We are hoping that their time spent with us in our small group creates a confident student that is willing to participate and succeed in the regular classroom setting. We feel honored and blessed to be able to help so many students learn the most important academic task of reading. Thanks, Mrs. Moore. We also want to remind everyone that our school collects and turns in box tops for education to earn free money for our school. Here's student leader Sasha to tell you more. Hi, this is Sasha from the COA student leadership team. And I just want to remind everyone to keep bringing in those box tops. The box tops help us pay for our field day activities at the end of the school year, as well as other fun things here at the school. You can find them on all kinds of products that your parents buy from the store. Each one is worth at least 10 cents for our school, sometimes more. Just cut them out and bring them to your teacher or the front desk of your site. For every 25 box tops you turn in, you get a lollipop too. The more we bring in throughout the year, the more money our school gets for fun activities. So keep bringing them in. Thanks, Sasha. Well, that wraps up the November 2018 COA Student Talk Radio segment here at the elementary school. I'd like to thank all of our great COA students and staff for their time and willingness to share with us today. And if you'd like to learn or see more of some of the great things that we do here at COA Elementary, we have several ways you can do it. You can visit our website at outreachacademy.org or follow us on social media. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and this year, Instagram. Just search for COA Elementary. And if you haven't already, download our free smartphone app that's available for Android and Apple. Just search your app store for COA Elementary. I hope you enjoyed this edition of COA Student Talk Radio. I'm Mr. Strau, and we'll see you all next month.